all of the information that we have right now, and that comes from the World Health Organization, from our own Food and Drug Administration, from Centers for Disease Control, that COVID-19 cannot be transferred from food. Your highest risk of getting COVID-19 is person to person. Right now, you do not want to get a foodborne illness because if you get sick, you may not be able to see a doctor since most of our medical professionals are dealing with the COVID-19. So I would urge consumers to learn good food safety practices. Some of them may not have been in the kitchen for a while and now they have to cook. Um, so Consumer Reports has a number of really good articles on food safety practices um, on our website. The FDA and the USDA both have food safety uh, information on their websites. So I would strongly urge consumers to use good food safety practices at this time. Uh, World Health Organization has put out some information that this virus is susceptible to the temperatures that we normally cook our food. So yes, cooking your food will kill the coronavirus. All the information that we have for now indicates that the coronavirus cannot be transferred from fresh fruits and vegetables to people. Um, even if you do, would eat a, let's say, a tomato that had coronavirus, um, by the time it gets into your stomach, your stomach with acid would probably kill it. Uh, we have no evidence that it's ever been transferred from food to people to make them sick. Uh, what we suggest is that you use the common food safety practices of washing your fruits and vegetables in cold running water. The answer to that is no. Um, if you are concerned about your food packaging, um, there are recommendations of using disinfectant wipes. So when you bring your food in from the grocery store that you wipe the outside with a disinfectant wipe, um, properly dispose of that, then put it into your cupboard. Um, there are some reports of some people taking the food out of a container and putting it in one of your own that you know is clean because you run it through the dishwasher. Um, um, but we have no indication that coronavirus can be uh, picked up from your food packaging At the least riskiest would be having your food, either from your grocery store or a restaurant delivered to your house, left on your doorstep so there's no direct contact. Tip them through the, the app so you don't have to hand them a tip and then bring it into your home. And then we recommend taking off the outer packaging, throwing it away. Uh, some people will wipe it down like I described before. Some people will transfer it to another container. But because you've maintained that social distancing, then you have eliminated the number one uh, risk of transfer from person to person. The second tier would be you having to order from a restaurant and going to pick it up. What we're suggesting there is that you maintain your social distancing if you drive up to the restaurant and there's a line waiting to get in. Then once you go into the restaurant, you don't go immediately to the counter, you wait until they put your food on the counter. Then when you go to pay, use a credit card, or a cash app if you have that option. Use a pin to push the numbers on the credit card machine if you have to. Then if you have to sign the receipt, use your own pin because you know where it's coming from. Of all the ways to obtain food, that's probably the riskiest for a number of reasons. Um, number one, it's hard in some situations to maintain the social distancing, which again is the number one way to get the coronavirus. What Consumer Reports is suggesting is that if you have to go to the grocery store, you pick a time where there are fewer people in the grocery store. So you can look on the website and you can actually see on the website when is the best time to shop. If you're older or you have a predisposed condition, um, some stores allow those customers to go in early. Um, when I go to the grocery store, I go as soon as it opens, there may be a line, but I maintain my social distancing. Then when the door is open, I have my own wipes in case the store is out to wipe down the cart. And I'm very deliberate about shopping. I go to get in and out. I go directly, I go down my list, I put it in the cart and I go. And then when I go to checkout, pay with a credit card, use a stylus to push the button, bring my own pin. 
if you're using disposable bags, I mean, uh, re reusable bags, if you're using the cloth ones, we suggest that you wash them in hot soap and water in your washing machine between every grocery run. If you're using the plastic ones, spray them down with a disinfectant and let them air dry and get ready for your next time that you would have to go to the grocery store. I think that maintaining a healthy diet is very important. Um, because if you maintain your health, um, you're much more resistant to get not only coronavirus, but other, other uh, illnesses too. I know that the comfort food is really, really good since we're sequestered at home and can't get out. Um, but I would say maintain a healthy diet with lots of fruits and vegetables um, that you try to get as less processed food as possible. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.